Hi everyone, it's Ailey and I am back from my trip to Florida. It was a really great trip, I had a great time, and now it's been about a week since I got back to my everyday life. I'm happy to report that unlike usually when I take a long break from playing the dulcimer, I actually haven't had a very hard time getting back into a pretty consistent routine for practicing. I haven't played every day this week, which is usually what I aim for, but I have played most days this week, so I'll take it. Usually when I take a long break from practicing my dulcimer, the biggest hurdle I have to get over before I can really start playing again is tuning my dulcimer. With 50 strings, my dulcimer does take a long time to tune, and with the setup of the instrument, it can be a finicky task. When I got home, my dulcimer was definitely out of tune, but I thought it sounded kind of cool. So I gave myself a break and I didn't tune my dulcimer this week. The nice thing about dulcimers is if you're pretty consistent with playing it, it stays more or less in tune. So as soon as I started playing it again, the notes kind of evened out. It did sound a little bit more in tune than it did when I first got home, but it definitely needs to be tuned now. So in this video, I'm going to be tuning my dulcimer. Let's get the job started. So here we are at my dulcimer. It is pretty out of tune. I'll play a few notes for you. It doesn't sound terrible, like I said, uh, but it is out of tune. So here is what it sounds like right now. So again, not terrible, but once we're done with the tuning, it will sound a lot better. I use three different tools to tune my dulcimer. The first tool that I use is this Snark tuner. Um, it's right here on the top of my dulcimer right now. You can't really see it. Let me move it. Okay. Um, it looks like this. For anyone who plays the guitar, it probably looks pretty familiar because this is the same sort of tuner that you might use yourself. So I'm going to snap this back up here where it will be used to tune the instrument. The next thing I use is this gooseneck tuning wrench. And uh, you can see by the curve in the neck why it gets its name. Basically what I do is I put this on one of the pegs here, the tuning pegs, and I turn and adjust until I've gotten to the note that I need. The last tool that I use is just one of my plain old hammers. Uh, you'll notice this looks different from the hammers that I usually use on the videos that I've been making. These are one of my original hammers that came with the instrument right here, and they're just pretty basic learner's hammers. Um, I use them a lot when I want a brighter, sharper sound because there's nothing on these hammers. It's just straight wood as opposed to the other hammers that I use more often, which have leather on this side, and I added um, another softer surface on the other side, which gives different sounds on the dulcimer. So without further ado, I am going to jump into tuning. When I tune, I go note by note, which means I'm going to start all the way up here at the top, and I'm gonna go all the way down here, and then I'm gonna move back up to the second part of my dulcimer and I'm going to go all the way down the base over here. So when I start, I pluck each string with a finger. So this is what it sounds like right now. Um, this is supposed to be a F, but it's coming off as kind of a D sharp. It's all over the place. Um, so I'm going to play it again. Oh, I apologize. It's supposed to be a G sharp. Um, it's coming off a little flat right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the tuning wrench just a little bit because this is pretty delicate. I'm going to try again. It's a little better, but it's not quite in tune just yet. So I'm going to do that again. You can see with 50 notes how this would take forever. So one more time. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Just one more time to check. Yeah. Now the thing about a dulcimer is that each note actually has two strings. So I've tuned the first string for this G sharp up here, but now I need to move down to the second string that is also a G sharp. This is why tuning a dulcimer is so tricky because the two strings that make up the note, they have to be perfectly tuned together. If one is even just a little, little bit off from the other, it's gonna sound terrible, it's gonna be dissonant, and uh, you just don't want to hear it. So let's move on to the next string. So this again is another G sharp string. It should be flat like the last one was. Yep. 
So we're going to sharpen that up. Try it again. And that sounds pretty good. When I have both strings saying that they're an even G sharp or whatever note it's supposed to be, I take out that hammer and I'm going to strike the note to make sure that they really resonate correctly and it sounds good and it's still totally in key. So here we go. Yay! So uh, one note down, a whole lot more to go. Okay, I am halfway finished now. I've made it through this set of notes. It's not totally perfect. If we go to this octave right now, it starts sounding really good, and then there's kind of a funny note up here that I'm going to have to adjust eventually. You can hear it. Oop, that wasn't good. Actually, that doesn't sound as bad as it did when I was first going through it. Uh, but the funny thing about playing a dulcimer and tuning a dulcimer after it's been sitting for a while is I've found that it tends to need uh, two go-rounds of tuning before it sounds really, really good. So this is the first go-round, again, halfway through, not even fully finished. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go through it one more time, and I'm going to make sure that everything sounds totally perfect. Uh, on to the next set of notes and strings. Okay, I have finished tuning the first go around on the dulcimer. According to the timer at the bottom of my video, this has taken me just short of a half an hour to do. This half of the dulcimer did take me a little bit less time to do than the first half. Um, I usually find that that's the case. Can't explain exactly why, but it might have something to do with the fact that uh, this and this side of uh, the first part of the dulcimer uh, have different notes on them. It's just a guess, I don't really know. Um, yeah, so like I said before, I do go through this a second time just to make sure that everything is perfectly in tune. So let's go ahead and do that. This won't be as rigorous as the first set. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Uh, most of the notes were just the tiniest bit evenly flat, so I had to go back through all of them and get them back to where they were supposed to be. This often happens um, after it hasn't been played in a while because all the notes have to be adjusted so much that by the time you get back to the end, or by the time you get to the end, uh, the things that you did up at the front at the beginning have kind of shifted and uh, need to be readjusted again. Uh, so I still have the second half of the dulcimer to do for the second time. Uh, this second time around on the first part took me about 15 minutes, yikes. Uh, so hopefully this last part won't take too long. It didn't take too long to go through the first time, so fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Um, here we go. I got super lucky that second half was still totally in tune, nothing had shifted while I was playing around with the other side of the dulcimer. So it is done. Here's what it sounds like now that it is nice and tuned up. I am going to switch over to the leather covered hammers that I usually use uh, so that you can compare it to what it sounded like in the beginning. Here we go. Ooh, that one still doesn't sound great. I might play around with that in a little bit, but uh, for the most part, uh, we are all set. That has been tuning a dulcimer. In all, it took me uh, just short of 50 minutes to do, maybe just a little bit uh, less than that because I did talk a lot during this video. So that's today's video. I hope you learned about uh, tuning a dulcimer, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you so much, and goodbye!